Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the second in the Follow Love Friday series, which is a collab between myself and Laurie from Measure Once Cut Twice Paper Crafting here on YouTube. As always, her links will be down below and I will try and put something on the screen for you guys. Please do make sure to go and check out her videos. She makes some gorgeous things and there's a giveaway at the end of this series on my channel and on hers. If you'd like to be entered into the giveaway, you need to subscribe to this channel and to Laurie's channel. You need to leave a comment on each of the five videos on both channels and please like both of our Instagram accounts as well. I'll make sure to leave all of the links to all of that down below and all of the rules if you'd like to enter and win a selection of the things that we've been making on this series. So for this week, we decided to make memory deck cards I have never made a memory decks card, but I bought the SVG cut file from my scrap chick. I'll link that down below for you as well. I love their cut files. And I just thought I'd dive in and have a go. So these are the three that I've made. I'll zoom in for you and show you each one a bit closer up. So I'll start off with this one. For this one, I cut the memory deck shape just as it was um, for the background in the paper that I wanted. And then I sliced a square out in design space and cut it on this Santa paper. Then I sandwiched in between that one of the page protectors, just your average sort of document wallet page protector, and stitched around the edge to hold the sequins in place. In there I've got a mix of sequins. The circular ones are from the works. The candy cane ones are from TK Maxx, I believe, and so are the Christmas trees. This sentiment here is actually from a washi tape that I've got, which I just backed on some white cardstock and cut out and then I ticked yes and attached that with some um, staples from my tiny attacher. I've got some different enamel dots up here and some more down here. These two stickers, this one is from Hobbycraft and this one is from the new Pebbles collection I believe, or last year's Pebbles collection, one of those. Then I've just got some red polka dot ribbon and a little enamel dot in the middle and I just made a bow and put that up here for a bit of extra interest so that's that one then I made this one again I just cut the cut file on my Cricut then I ruffled some tissue paper to make this um, I think I first saw this on Adele's channel who is Inky Quill here on YouTube and she sort of you put the double sided tape down and then you just ruffle the paper on top and it sticks and it holds it quite nicely so I like doing that for a bit of texture in the background then I've got the white snowflake trim here I did colour it in with Wink of Stella but it seems to have um, sort of absorbed into the material so that didn't work too well but the trim is from AliExpress I've got this snowflake kisses piece from one of the ephemera packs I got from AliExpress and this Santa from the Pebbles collection these white snowflakes are from an old Christmas um, puffy sticker sheet. I think it was from Home Bargains or something like that. And I've got these little snowflakes all around. These little snowflakes are actually from this die, which is from Hobbycraft, and it's a ball ball, and then it cuts out all the little snowflakes. I've been collecting the little snowflakes and using them on everything. They look fantastic on loads of Christmas projects. So that's another use for that die if you have it. That diet as well is in my recent Hobbycraft haul and it's only a pound at the moment so if you want to go and grab it do run over and get it before it goes out of stock. And then finally I've just stitched with white thread round the edge. I'm not brilliant with my sewing machine yet so I'm still learning how to do the corners and things and I totally skipped doing these um, indent pieces because I just knew it would go terribly so um, I've just done it all around the edge but I think that worked out quite cute in the end. And then finally I've got this one so for this one again I cut the background piece in the paper that I wanted and then I used the file that I created using the background piece I just sliced the middle out and I cut that five times in total so four times in this plain blue cardstock to just give it a bit of depth for the sequins to shake around and then once in this pretty blue paper at the front this paper is from the works one of their paper pads it's not a Christmas one but it worked really well with the blue in this and the background here is from an Echo Park, an old one of their Christmas collections. Then I just cut a window piece from acetate and adhered all of those together. So the paper all stuck together with wet glue absolutely fine, but the layer with the acetate needed hot glue to hold it. So I um, had to go back and hot glue that, but 
it holds quite well now. And then inside there I've just got some of the fake snow, some white glitter and all different snowflake sequins. On the front I've got more of these little white snowflakes from that die that I showed you. This bow which is from eBay, it's been in my stash for ages. And this Tis the Season sentiment which again is from a washi tape that I just put on some white cardstock and fussy cut out. And then I've got a blue piece that's backed on and then this iridescent piece right at the back just to make it match the bow. So those are my three. As I said, they're the first ones that I've ever attempted. So um, I'm hoping to make quite a few more. It turns out that a lot of my pen pals collect these. So I want to try and make some for those for Christmas. So do keep an eye on my Instagram and I'll share them as I make them. But those are the ones that I've got done for now. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I'll leave a link to Laurie's video as well because you should definitely go over and check that out. I'm sure it'll be fantastic as always. See you next time. Bye.